Hi, everyone. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for this beautiful Sunday. We are happy to worship you. Weather is getting cold. Please give us physical strength and health. Please help us to be strong in faith. We are delighted to be in your presence, and we bring all the glories to you, Lord. Please, please be joyful and receive all our praises. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
There's no space that His love can't reach. There's no place where we can't find peace. There's no end to amazing grace. Take me in with your arms spread wide. Take me in like an orphan child. Never let go, never leave my side. Youngnak Kids Worship Time. I'm glad you're here to worship with us together. Uh, let's start the worship with a prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for giving us an opportunity to give you worship. Lord, um, as we gather here to listen to your word, please forgive all our sins with the blood of Jesus and fill us up with your Holy Spirit. Please uh, give us wisdom so we may listen to your word, uh, remember your word, and we obey your word. So God, uh, please be with us throughout this worship uh, and be glorified through us. Lord, uh, be glorified and be joyful and bless us. Lord, please come and uh, sit among us and touch us and heal us. Lord, we love you and we thank you. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, boys and girls, today's sermon title is Jesus' Crucifixion. The sermon comes from the book of Matthew and John. Where is the book of Matthew and John? Is it in the Old Testament or New Testament? Yes, it's in the New Testament. So, does anyone remember our big picture question? That's right. What did Jesus do to save us? Let's say the answer together. Jesus lived a sinless life, died on the cross, and rose from the dead. Amen. All of the stories in the Bible fit together to tell about God's plan to save sinners. Do you remember the story of Adam and Eve? and how their sin separated them from God. After Adam and Eve sinned, everyone sinned and was separated from God. But God need, did not leave us alone. He promised to send a Savior to rescue us. By His mercy and grace, God sent His Son, to be the lamb who was slain for our sins to bring us back to God. The whole Bible points to the moment in today's Bible story when Jesus conquered the power of sin and death 
by dying on the cross. Amen. Do you remember the Bible study video that we just watched? Before Jesus was crucified, Pilate asked him questions. And the religious leaders made accusations against Jesus. Do you know how Jesus responded? Let's go to the book of Matthew, chapter 26, verse 62 and 63. So book of Matthew is in the New Testament. And then let's go to chapter 26. Matthew, chapter 26, verse 62 and 63. Okay, so that's in page 962. Okay. So I'll read for us. The high priest then stood up and said to him, Don't you have an answer to what these men are testifying against you? But Jesus kept silent. Then the high priest said to him, By the living God, I place you under oath. Tell us if you are the Messiah, the Son of God. Jesus was silent. He was even silent as the soldiers placed a robe and a crown of thorns on his head to mock him. This fulfilled the prophecy about the Messiah found in Isaiah chapter 53, verse 7. So let's go to the book of Isaiah. It's in the Old Testament. Book of Isaiah, chapter 53, verse 7. So that's on page, page 690. 690. Okay. So let's read. Book of Isaiah, chapter 53, verse 7. I will read for us. He was oppressed and afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. Like a lamb led to the slaughter and like a sheep silent before her shearers. He did not open his mouth. Jesus' silence shows his humility, obedience, and willing to lay down his life for us. When Jesus was on the cross, the people made fun of him, saying, Ha, he saved others, but he cannot save himself. Was this true? Was Jesus powerless to save himself? No! Jesus is all-powerful and can do anything. But Jesus was obedient to his Father and carried out his plan for our salvation. Jesus died on the cross to pay for our sins. Jesus shouted from the cross, My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Why did Jesus say this. Jesus freed us from sin and death by taking the curse of sin on himself. God is perfect and separate from sin. So as Jesus hung on the cross with the weight of all our sin on himself, God turned away from his son. When we trust in Jesus as Lord and our Savior, God will never turn away from us. Amen. I'm so thankful that God will never turn away from us even though we're sinners because Jesus died on the cross. Sin must be paid for. We deserve to die 
but because of our sins, but God loves us and kept his promise to send the Savior. Jesus never sinned, but he died in our place. He was the blood sacrifice made once and for all for the forgiveness of sin. Amen. Jesus rose from the dead on the third day. And those who trust in him have forgiveness and eternal life. Amen. Let's read today's key passage. Today's key passage is from the book of Philippians, chapter 2, verse 8. So, book of Philippians is in the New Testament toward the end of the book. Let's go to chapter 2, verse 8. It's in page 1193. So, it looks like this, right? Okay. So, did you find our key passage? Let's read together. He humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even to death on a cross. Our key passage tells us that Jesus humbled himself and was obedient to his Father, even when it meant his death. Jesus willingly laid down his life to fulfill God's plan of salvation. We deserve death for our sins. But praise the Lord for sending his perfect son to take the punishment we deserve. So I was saved. Let's pray, everyone. Heavenly Father, thank you for loving us. Thank you for your mercy and grace and for sending Jesus to take the punishment of sin in our place. May we remember your sacrifice for us and honor you in the way we live our lives. Use us to tell others about this good news. Lord, we thank you for giving us an opportunity, and we pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, it's time to bring our offering. We can give offering through online or drop it at church. Let's give our offering with our hearts. And here is my envelope. And um, next week is our Thanksgiving Sunday, so please prepare your special Thanksgiving offering. Okay, Thanksgiving offering. Sunday offering. All right. Okay. So at this time, one of our friends will pray for the offering on the Zoom. So let's pray together. Thank you. Okay. Now let's end the service by reciting the Lord's Prayer. Let's recite. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. All right, boys and girls, now it's time to go to your breakout session. Please enjoy your small group time with your teacher and your friends. And stay safe and healthy throughout this week. Please try to remember what we have learned. And please share with your family and your friends how Jesus loved us. And he died on the cross and took all of our punishment and sin. And now we can trust in Jesus. Okay? All right, boys and girls, bye. See you next time.